Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a cozy productive weekend reading vlog. So this weekend it is the 4th of July weekend and I just plan on reading a ton and being super productive. I'm kind of doing a little weekend readathon, just trying to blast through a ton of books and it's not even noon on Saturday and I've already succeeded at doing that. So let's get into my reading plans and what I've already accomplished. So this is my very ambitious stack of books that I would like to start and work on for the weekend. And I have completed a few of these already. So I have finished the audiobook of In the Lives of Puppets by TJ Klune. I wanted to finish this in June, but it just did not happen. So this is the latest book by TJ Klune. And as you would have probably seen in my last reading vlog, I did not love this book very much. I just found it to be not as heartwarming and I didn't connect with the characters hardly at all compared to these this author's previous two books which I loved and like immediately had a connection with the characters. I just didn't feel that in this book and I did like the exploration of humanity and what it means to be human and kind of the existential crisis almost of this book. Like it was definitely interesting and I liked those conversations but the story itself just didn't hit for me. And the audiobook was also very grating to listen to. Like the voices for the robots in this book just really got on my nerves after a while and it just was very annoying. And I'm starting to learn that TJ Klune books as audiobooks are just not it for me. They are so much better just physically read. So I need to bear that in mind when I read the next book of his. But I don't believe Wolfsong has an audiobook. And I did just order the Barnes & Noble exclusive edition that is coming out on the 4th and that is on my July TBR. So I will be reading that in July at some point, hopefully, because I wanna pre-order the rest of the series if I like it because those books are so hard to find, <laughs> but anyways, this was fine. I gave it three stars. I don't hate it. I don't love it, but I thought it was fun and it was a good time for the most part. Another book I finished is Cybola Burn by James S. A. Corey, which is the fourth book in the Expanse series. Another book that I read for the majority of June and just didn't finish until today, but again this one was fine. I feel like this was almost like a filler book to me. There just wasn't that much going on. There was definitely some aspects of the plot that were interesting but a lot of the events in this book could have been summed up in like two or three chapters in a different book and then we could have had more happen in the book other than just focusing on those three or four events over the course of like an almost 600 page book. So this book was way too long for me and the characters that I adored in book three were not present in this book until the epilogue. And I'm like, really? <laughs> like, obviously we're still following the same crew from the previous three books, James Holden and his crew. And there was one moment that I was so mad. I'm like, please do not make this happen. And then everything seems to be fine after that. So I'm like, okay, good, thank you. <laughs> but otherwise, I don't know. I didn't like the new characters that were introduced into this book. And like I say, every time we talk about this series, we get a new set of characters introduced every single book, which I think adds a lot of complexity to the series. And it just adds more and more to this giant yarn ball world, which I really enjoy, but I just didn't enjoy the set of characters that were introduced. And I am curious to see how they will affect the world because every character that is introduced has some important role and will affect later events, which is interesting. And there's also another aspect of this book where a character who we don't have anymore, like they're no longer there, is back in like a really weird way and I didn't love that and it just kind of made this whole book seem kind of silly to me. So I gave this one three stars as well. I didn't totally love what happened in it but hopefully book five will bring it back for me but I will finish this series and while something like totally out of left field happens that I just hate then I won't but pretty sure that won't happen and I'm also trying to get through these books so I can watch the TV show and hopefully make a video on the TV show and when you should start the TV show 
in comparison to the books because I can't find the answer to that. So I guess that means I just need to answer it for everyone else, including myself. So anyways, it was fine. Gave it three stars. Just happy to have finally finished it. And going into the other three books on my TBR for the weekend, I plan on starting and finishing The Last Tale of the Flower Bride by Roshani Chakshi. I have to read this by Thursday because I have book club on Thursday and this is our book club pick for July. I've just been so busy and reading all these chunkers that I just have not had time to start this. Thankfully, it's a really short book. I think it's not even 300 pages. So I definitely think I can read this this weekend and probably get it done by like Monday or Tuesday. So don't know too much about this book. I bought this somewhat recently and really, really, really want to read it. So I was really excited when it was chosen for book club. Oh, it has deckled edges, which I hate. But I'll just read you the little paragraph tag at the top. A sumptuous gothic infused story about a marriage's unraveled by dark secrets, a friendship cursed to end in tragedy, and the danger of believing in fairy tales. So I'm super excited. This is Roshani Chakshi's first adult book, which is also super exciting. And I really like her writing. I really like her characters. So hoping this is a good time. Looking forward to it. And then once I finish this, because like I don't see how I won't finish this this weekend, I plan on starting Last Argument of Kings by Joe Abercrombie as my next physical read. Uh, this is also for book club and I don't know when the live show is happening for this for Catch Up Book Club, but I know it's happening at some point in July. So even if I miss watching it live, I'll go back and watch it, but I at least want to get this started and finished sometime early in July so I can start working on the rest of the books on my TBR and also just have it read so I can watch the live show whenever that's available. And for audiobooks, I would like to start and finish, probably not in this vlog, but I'd like to finish it like this week before Summerween happens, which is The Silvered Serpents by Roshani Chakshi, which is the second book in the Gilded Wolf series. I have the audiobook on Libro, so I will just listen to this as I am doing chores at my house, my parents' house, everybody's houses, because I'm cat sitting for the weekend because my parents are camping. So that's the plan. So really excited that I've already finished two of the five books that I wanted to at least start and one of them finish in this vlog. So that's amazing. So it is like almost noon. I am so hungry. I haven't eaten anything today. So I'm gonna go make some lunch, watch some TV and relax. And then I need to get my laundry started. And I'm just gonna kind of hang out here for a little bit till it gets nicer outside. And then I'll go back to my parents' house for a bit and feed the cats, take them outside, let them enjoy the sun. It's supposed to be a blazing hot weekend, which I'm so excited about. So I plan on just reading outside all weekend, which just sounds fantastic. So that's the plan. And then tonight at 5.30, my aunts and uncles are going to come up and we're going to have pizza and play some games and just kind of hang out. I don't get to see them too often, even though they live like a block up from where I live. Like we live so close to each other. We just are so busy. We don't get to like see each other very much. So they're gonna come up and we're gonna hang out and it's gonna be fun. And then that's my only plan for the weekend. I don't plan on going anywhere. Like I wanna stay home all weekend besides obviously walking to my parents' house, but that's it. Like I'm just staying here. We're not going to town. I got plenty of food and there's just no reason to go into town. So, Let's have some lunch and we'll just keep being productive. I'm gonna try to like vlog productivity and stuff. Like I don't know how I would do that, but I've already cleaned the house. So like I didn't film that. But from here on out, I'm gonna try to like film some more productive clips and stuff and try to emulate my like inner Olivia Reads Latte who has like the best B-roll in her vlogs. I really need to like up my B-roll game. <laughs>
it has been a pretty busy Sunday, but I feel like I should come chat with you all before the week starts because it will be crazy. So I spent basically all day just reading. It was so nice. I just went from my house to my parents' house, back to my house, and just read a ton. And so I started a new audiobook, which was not the audiobook I had planned, which is just in true mood reader fashion. So I decided to start Unfortunately Yours by Tessa Bailey, which is the first book in a new series by her and I had this on hold at my library and I'm like you know what I really want a romance book because I've been reading so much fantasy and that would just be the perfect palette cleanser so I decided to borrow it and start reading it and it's fun so far I'm enjoying it so we're following two different characters the first of which is I'm not remembering her name but she's on the cover you'll see the cover so she is the daughter to this very large very well-known family that specializes in wineries they make wine and that's what they're known for and I believe was off doing her own thing with one of her friends as a business venture but she has very quickly lost money with this business venture and has not been able to go back to it and she's in desperate need of money money and she does have a trust in place with her family but she can only get that trust if she is married and is financially stable with a job so she doesn't have either of those things right now and her arch nemesis who is also a winemaker is not the greatest winemaker like his wine is sludge everybody hates it and I believe he wants to make it better like make his wine better and like grow but he's kind of like well I'm not getting anywhere with this maybe I should just leave and go do something else and so he's just about to leave the state when our main character is like hey what if we get fake married so I can get my trust and then once I get that money I will give you a loan or something like that and he's like okay so now they're fake married and it's it's been really fun so far i think i'm like 20 percent through that i read i listened to a lot of it today and it's going good it's really fun so i should definitely get that finished this week right before summer ween because i gotta read books for that and then last night i started the last tale of the flower bride by rajani chakshi and i am currently 150 pages into this book so i think i've read just about half and it's going okay and I have thoughts so we follow our main character who I seriously don't know character names so like I am so sorry let me try to find his name actually I don't know if we do know his name I don't know so basically our main character is this guy who has been trying to find this specific family because of their rare book that they are in possession of and he finally meets her and her name is oh golly I swear I, I'm so I swear I'm taking in information in this book it's just these names <laughs> and so he meets Indigo and she is part of this family that has a lot of rare treasures and he immediately falls in love with her and they have like an oath between each other that he can't know everything about her and time goes on they get married and there's definitely a lot of secrets about Indigo's past and who she is what she is even and we also have a second perspective in this book and her name is Azure and she is somebody from Indigo's past and basically she is a young girl who did not have a very loving family at all. Her mother did not want her, called her really horrible names. So Azure was always out of the house and spending time with Indigo and they're basically each other's halves. Like they are identical twins basically. They do everything together. They look similar and they're just like the bestest of friends. But as we're going through the book, Indigo is getting more and more sinister in Azure's point of view which is in the past and I'm really questioning Indigo like she comes off as like very seductive and very beautiful and like everyone loves her but in Azure's point of view 
it's coming across like that to the characters in the book but for us as a reader she's very manipulative and very mean and bully like so i'm curious to see what the heck is up with indigo and what happened to azure because azure disappears and we don't know what happened to her indigo won't talk about her with her husband so it's all very mysterious and indigo grew up with her aunt who is a witch and her aunt is not doing well in the present timeline like physically and I'm curious to see what's up with that. There's also a house that is a main character in this book that like acts as a human, which I really like that. And I realized the last like couple of books I've read recently have had houses as characters, which I didn't realize I like so much. And I think it's because houses really are human-like to me, like obviously like Windows of the Soul and whatever, like comparing it to that, but like the possessions that are in a house are so reflective of the people living in the house. Like you can walk into anybody's house and like get a feel of the person they are and stuff. And I think that's really interesting. And I like the idea of houses being people and like reacting to what's going on inside them and stuff. It's just, I like that. Yeah, it's really interesting. So it's going good and I mean I just I don't know I don't love it. I feel like this book is definitely just like vibes like the plot not much going on there. Characters we're not getting much development from any of the characters besides maybe Azure like the husband character who we're following like I don't even think he has a name and I feel like he's just a vessel for us to learn about Indigo. Like, he doesn't matter in the long run. I feel like this book is really just about Indigo and Azure and, like, them and not the husband. Like, I feel like he's just a vessel. So, it's going okay. The writing is a little heavy-handed in times. Like, it's so flowery and so dense that I feel like it's just trying to be like, ooh, look how pretty this writing is instead of having some substance to it. I don't know. It's going good, but this book is definitely like vibes, which I saw a review on Goodreads saying exactly that, and I wholeheartedly agree so far. Not getting a whole lot of plot, not getting a whole lot of characters, but I am curious about Indigo, and um, I definitely will keep reading it. I mean, it's so short. I will definitely be able to finish it by Tuesday, hopefully, and then I will be all ready for book club. I hate having to read the book club book like just a few days before book club, but it just kind of fell that way, and thankfully, our book for July is really short. So that's all I have for reading updates at the moment. I made an amazing dinner, as you all would have saw. That was so good. That's one of my absolute favorite dinners. It's basically just kielbasa sausage, which is so good and mac and cheese which I would have made mac and cheese but my mom already made some for their trip to go camping so she just left me a container so I just reheated it in the pan and then I microwaved some peas some frozen peas mixed it all together it's so good I added some tomatoes on top to mine because I needed to get those tomatoes eaten so I did that had some pasta salad that my mom made which was so good and some green beans it was a great dinner felt very balanced and I had a Klondike bar for dessert so everything in moderation and it was a great time and and oh my gosh and I watched the final episode of Daisy Jones and the Six and I cried so hard at the end I totally forgot how the book ended and that just made me just cry <laughs> I definitely actually let me talk about Daisy Jones because I don't think I've talked about it in any video so I love the book I've read the book at least three or four times and it's one of my favorite books of all time I cry every time I read it it's a great time the audiobook is impeccable so I was so excited when they were gonna come out the show so I started watching the show like weeks ago probably at least a couple months ago at this point I'm very slow at watching shows because I get distracted and my attention is just not the greatest when it comes to TV shows so I'm impressed that I actually finished it so I think the TV show was really 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 well done I think they captured the essence of Daisy and Jones and the Six the casting for that show is on par it is so perfect though that is exactly how I pictured the cast like that's how I imagined them in my mind I mean that was like so spot-on it was amazing and I didn't 
love the like I think it was like two or three big changes they made that did not happen in the book I didn't love those but I kind of see why they put them in there kind of to add some more complexity to the characters and be able to travel within the TV show instead of staying in the United States we kind of got to go abroad so I mean that was fun but it definitely did not happen in the book and I don't mind when TV shows or movies that are adapted from books have a little bit more to them but I don't like it when they cut out things that were important so I can't think of any instances where they did that in Daisy Jones but they definitely added some things that most certainly did not happen in the book but I didn't mind it like I said I get why they have to do that because the book on its own maybe doesn't have enough or can't do everything that they want to do on screen to make it visually interesting I thought it was an incredible TV show an incredible adaptation and I loved it so much the music oh my gosh it's so good like it's so hard to believe that that band is not real <laughs> like obviously they kind of made it real with the show but it just feels like a band that like was really around in like the 70s and I just I love that Taylor Jenkins Reid was able to create something like that so Anyways, that was great. Really glad I finished that series. So now I need to work on finishing Shadow and Bone season two, which I'm really dragging my feet on because it's not as good as season one, which is funny because I didn't like book two of Shadow and Bone and season two of the TV show is not as good either, which I think is funny. So anywho, it is 9.15. I'm going to get in bed now and read and go to sleep. I need to get up a little bit earlier tomorrow Tomorrow because I have to go to my parents house to feed cats and do chores so that needs to happen but yeah so I work tomorrow that I get Tuesday off which is funny but if I had leave to use I would definitely have taken tomorrow off but I'm in probation in my job which sounds horrible but basically they do this for all new hires where 90 days you can't use leave and it's basically just an evaluation period to see how you're doing and if they're gonna keep you on which at this point I've been there since December I don't see any reason why they wouldn't keep me but it's going really good though and I'm excited by September I will be able to use leave I am acquiring leave during that period and I get eight hours a month which is amazing but I just can't use it until September so anywho I'm gonna go now and I will chat with you all later hello this is a very weird angle because I have literally no tripods that work anymore like they I seriously broke all of them like they have just fallen apart so this is a weird amalgamation of things that I kind of stacked my camera on so anyways I probably look really weird I don't know I have something going on my eyes were so swollen this morning I could barely open them I don't know what happened and they've been really swollen all day and my whole face just kind of looks puffy I don't know what's going on it's not fun but like it doesn't hurt my eyes are just super puffy and they were like really blurry this morning too it was weird it was like I was having an allergic reaction to what I don't know but it was real strange so I do have a quick reading update for you all but I also want to show you the gorgeous Illumicrate book for the month so this is for the June box and I did get all the stuff as well but I already put it away so I'm not gonna drag all that back out but we got The Sun and the Void by Gabriella Romero LaCruz, which looks stunning. I loved this box's theme. It was all celestial themed, which I just love. So this is the book, and it's just absolutely stunning. It has gorgeous sprayed stenciled edges. I don't love the end pages just because like they don't really match like the black and white aesthetic of the book, but then this is absolutely gorgeous as well. So it's a really beautiful book and it's quite the chonker. It's like over 500 pages and it sounds great. So excited to get this and add it to the 
collection. And then for reading updates, I just finished The Last Tale of the Flower Bride by Roshani Chakshi, which I didn't love, which is really sad. I'm probably gonna give it like three stars. It's like a low three star for me. There was a twist in this book that I literally guessed. Like I was like maybe halfway through this book and I made this prediction to myself and it was right. And I'm like, wow, I'm, I'm impressed that I actually got that right. But at the same time, I feel like it's also kind of obvious in the way that the story goes. It's just kind of like, mm, yeah, I kind of saw that coming. But it was fine. I just feel like the character that we follow, like I mentioned earlier in this vlog, he's just a vessel. We don't even know his name. He's just referred to as the bridegroom. And he just doesn't matter in the story. And like, I don't need characters to matter in a story for me to care about the story but I just feel like that would have been better if it wasn't maybe told through him because he didn't even matter in the end you know it was just a way for us to learn about Azure and Indigo like that was the only reason why he was there which I just thought was not my favorite thing so it was fine I'm not going to rate it on Goodreads or anything yet because in book club we don't rate the book beforehand so we are all surprised when we go to book club so we don't know what everyone thought of it which is exciting and I'm glad I actually finished a book for book club because I feel like I think I've DNF'd the last two books for book club so it's nice to have actually finished a book although we're like so chill it really doesn't matter if you read the book or not but it's really just a time to go hang out with friends for like a couple hours which is really the best part of book club but it's also super fun to be able to talk about the book with people but the last couple of books I have not liked or wanted to continue with but anyways I'm really glad to have finished that and it is 12 50 it's almost 1 p.m. I had a big to-do list today I was going to film my wrap-up for June I was gonna edit this vlog and I just don't want to do any of it <laughs> so I think I just want to keep reading and get some exercise in later but it's super cold out like it's sunny today but it's really chilly so just gonna kind of hang inside and just keep reading because that's really the only thing I'm in the mood for right now I don't want to film I don't want to edit so we're just not gonna so hopefully I get the feeling back of wanting to film and edit but at the moment I really truly don't so I think I'm just gonna pick up a new book find something else to read and we'll go from there so really proud of my progress so far for the month I think I finished three books and it's only the fourth so that's pretty exciting so I'm gonna get back to reading also there's all day sprints going on on Kaylee's channel which I am totally here for it's been amazing and I'm loving having all day sprints like it's just hanging out with a friend all day it's great so I'm gonna go do that and I'll chat with you all later Hello everyone. Yes, I have a giant pimple on my lip now. It really hurts. It's a great time. But anyways, I totally forgot to close out this vlog. So it is Saturday, but I'm just popping on here really quick to do so. Just want to give you all a final quick reading update. I actually started and DNF'd a book. And that was Crave by Tracy Wolf. I started reading this the other day because I was like, I really want to challenge myself to read at least one Kindle Unlimited book a month to kind of make my membership worth it. And I started this one and first of all, it's set in Alaska, which I was kind of intrigued about, but I just, it's so ridiculous. Like the main character is so like, I'm so quirky. Like I don't wear makeup. Up. like I'm just so different it's like girl really and oh my gosh she's just so annoying she's such a like I'm so quirky and different it's like you're really not honey you're really not <laughs> I don't know this book just felt weird like I didn't like the writing I didn't like the characters and I just was not here for it so DNF'd it and that's that. So we're gonna end this vlog here and I'll talk to you all in my summer ween reading vlog all about my reads in there. I am hoping to have a very productive summer ween getting lots of reading done but you're, you'll hear about it in that vlog. So if you made it this far into the video comment some like flower emojis in honor of the last tale of the flower bride which I almost forgot I read in this vlog. So thank you all so very much for watching and I will see you all in another video soon. Goodbye!